Happening today, the brother of former Chula Vista Councilwoman Andrea Cardenas is scheduled to face a judge for sentencing this afternoon. Jesus Cardenas pleaded guilty last month to two counts of grand theft. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us from the downtown courthouse with a preview of today's hearing. Kelly. That's right, you know, and to put this all into perspective, Jesus Cardenas, had he gone to trial, he potentially could have been looking at prison time, uh, but instead, under this plea agreement, he will likely be sentenced to probation, and if probation goes well, after a couple of years, he can argue to have uh, the felonies reduced to misdemeanors. So we do have some video of the Cardenas uh, siblings in court uh, last month as they entered guilty pleas to two counts of grand theft, both admitting they lied to the government to get money. Now, both are required to pay restitution though it's unclear how much. Jesus Cardenas is the former chief of staff of San Diego City Council member Stephen Whitburn. Uh, he was considered a political heavy hitter who helped raise millions of dollars to get people, including his sister, elected to offices across San Diego County. Now, prosecutors say the 41-year-old used his company, Grassroots Resources, to fraudulently obtain a $175,000 uh, PPP loan, and then the siblings then used that money to pay for things like credit card bills, as well as Andrea's leftover campaign debt. Andrea stepped down from her Chula Vista council seat in February before she took that plea deal and the council will now appoint someone new. Eight candidates are looking to fill her seat. Here's what a couple of those candidates told us. We've been, you know, ignored for, for quite some time, you know, until they decided to do the district. You know, nobody really cared about the district four. In my eight months of hopefully serving for them, I will be able to do as much as I can and uh, bring district four forward in every way. And the council is expected to appoint a new member next week. As for Jesus Cardenas, his sentencing is scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon. I have spoken to his attorney. Uh, she tells me she will be asking for a continuance, uh, but it's up to the judge to decide uh, what happens next. So I will be in the courtroom and I will let you know what happens. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.